Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another one of my videos of course this will be the second part of my noble of my emperor uh, noble housing block game now let's the last time that we've uh, we were playing let's just pause this right now I pretty much had some trouble because of the fact that I was a bit rusty I haven't played I hadn't played the game in quite some time now uh, but right now I'm ready to rock and roll as I have been practicing a bit and today we'll come to the next part of the game right here now as we can see let me just take a look at my industry right here as we can see I have two farms for wheat, two farms for rice uh, two for hemp I am making some paper you will always you should always be careful enough that you don't make uh, as many paper makers as you have hemp farms, but because then you will be you'll start running out of paper, of course. Good. So next step is to stop this fire first of all, and I really hope it stops right now. There we go, and we can also put in another two kilns to make uh, to make uh, ceramics. Uh, obviously, that would be not so wise, I think. That was the biggest building. Let's check out my religion because I... Oh, crap. Okay, so it's always important to check out what people are doing at the time. Um, I'm not sure what he likes. I'll just give him some wheat. Unhappy. Okay, so obviously, that was that was a pretty bad thing for me. Acupuncturist. Why is there no acupuncturist here? Oh, here he comes. Sometimes some problems arise. Anyway, I will be having some unemployment and I think that this is the right time to start making some silkworm shirts as I have only been losing money in the in the past. And uh, you know, taxes are not going to cut it. To put put them together with construction and you're not you're not going to have enough money. Good. Um now I'll need a good amount of space to make a right amount of... Oh, I can also make a money printer, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad at, at all. Um, the only problem is that I don't have where to make it. Okay, let me just think about this one. The money printer should be next to the administrative city I uh, think I'll just make it here like this okay good now unemployment is just keeps on rising I have enough food I have enough uh, ceramics let me just go ahead and I actually have hunters no yeah, of course I do I actually forgot that one Oh wait, I think... Alright, oh, the, the wood industry is closed. I'll just make that available right now. Uh, for purposes that are, you know, quite good when considering playing this game, I will stop the game right now, pause it and just build my stuff. Although I did say that I was planning to make another, uh, another housing block here. Let me just make out the infrastructure for it and I'll just build around it. Right, so let's see. Bum, bum, bum. I will need... This will be the outer wall. This will be the house. The outer road, the inner road. And then of course, this will be the outer road, the inner house, outer road, outer road. So basically, this will be my corner for the housing block now obviously I think this is perfectly done right here let me just see now actually not actually this road needs to be all the way over here um, and this road needs to connect here And obviously this road right here needs to circumvent the whole housing block. Good, looking great. Looking great. 
Uh, also experiment this time with a, a bit bigger of a housing block because I'm not sure that this is the right the right uh, one. Okay, this goes away. Um, let's see, marketplace. Okay, this means that the extra road will be here. Three, four, five, six. And this should be the same block, exactly. Oh, but I said that I want to experiment. Okay, so let, I'll just do it. I'll just make it a bit, a bit bigger. Just a little tiny bit, bit bigger. And we can take care of that road right there as we do not need it anymore. Good. So now that I have my housing block down, okay, that's quite a bit of a fail on my part. Hmm. Actually, need to move the whole stuff one corner down. As I will need this road right here to go out. Hmm. So then, outer road, house. And then wall. Well, screw it, I'll just use this plot right here to make the outer road. And we can safely delete or leave it here because of the fact that it's, it's okay. Good, let's unpause it. And now I can finally build my silk watersheds, which are pretty important right now because if we look at the map i haven't sent any uh, any um um envoys or what's they're called you know diplomatic requests i only have kashgar but they buy silk which is basically every everything that i need so that should be enough for now tea carrying shit what we want to do is take care that we have three spaces and that those three spaces around it are quite you know, uh, viable for agriculture, of course. Uh, I will start off by making four of them. This is quite a lot of silk. Wait, is this tea? My... Okay, I'm obviously doing some mistakes today. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. I will need to put it a bit to the side because of the fact that we won't have space for the road. Okay. And I think I can use this space right here as well. Let me just go ahead and put... Uh, actually, I have one brown. Let me just go with tan this time. I needed to put down the, the road. Actually not the road, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, obviously wood is good, but not in this situation. Okay, looking good. This will be my second housing block. It, it is a bit bigger. I just hope I'm not going to screw this up. And I can surely... Yes. Good. Let me just make the grand ways as well. Just to be sure that I have everything right. <coughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Good. I'll be placing the rest of the houses as at the point when I need them. Um, because, you know, you, c you have to consider both money and and other stuff in this equa equation. Okay, I, I just got an idea. I will move this housing shed a bit to the... A bit to the right. This silkworm shed a bit to the right so that I can have a road between them. Between the two of them. 
One, two, three, four. And this way I can make sure that Um, wait, can, can't I build a row? Uh, no, can't. Damn. Anyway, anywho, this way I can make sure that they, uh, the, the, what are they called? The weavers are set up right next to the, to the farms and they get all of their necessary resources as fast as, it, as possible. Good, I can make another farm over here. Silkworm, shit, of course. One, two, three. Just have to make sure that they are all positioned correctly. Okay, that was a bad position for me. As I leave not enough space for the inspector tower. Also needed. Good, and the fourth silkworm shed will be also somewhere in this position right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bam. And that's how you do it. Mulberry trees. Okay, looking good. I can also do this right here in order to make the place more accessible. And I will be putting down two weavers here. Actually, I can put down four weavers here. And four weavers over here. Trying to economize on space as much as I can. Uh, the trading post with Kashgar can be put down anywhere, but I generally recommend that put it down somewhere where you have extra uh, other resources as well um, okay let's see the gods the gods are all unhappy which is quite bad I'm not sure how, how I managed to do that one unemployment is okay uh, the next one on the list is the cash card trading post let's look at the at cash card let's see what they can they can sell spice and clay. I don't need clay. I might need spices. They also buy salt, which I cannot make, and lacquerware, which I don't think that I can make. Let me just look at that. Uh, although, yes, I can make lacquerware, but I'll need lacquer. Um, well, anyway, I'll just place it here in the middle of the map for insurance that everything is going to be okay. Um, Actually, I'll make, I'll make it like this. This is where the silk will be deposited, the raw silk. And the trading post will be set up over here. Perfectly. And I am, yes, buying spices. Just 12. I'll just leave 12 in there. Uh, so that I can make sure that whenever... Um, Whenever I buy too much, it's not you know there in the in the in the trading station, and it is being uh, sent to the um, to the mills. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, the double road. I think I'll c I can leave the double road right here. Uh, obviously, what types of food do I have? I have rice paddy and wheat, which I do have both at the time. Agriculture, I, ha I make enough food, they save for free. I have a supply for 3,000 people, but I make for 5,000, uh, which remains to be seen. Obviously, if I make this extra um, housing block right here, I might, uh, I just might need to um, make some extra farms. We'll just have to wait and see for that one as well. Oh my god, that is so bad it's it's terrible that is actually terrible you don't want your silk sheds to be your weavers to be falling down oh crap especially when they're full with silk with raw silk just 
take sure make sure that that doesn't happen ever uh, you can obviously do that by providing your your uh, your roads with with more inspector towers now something else that is quite necessary is for you to understand when playing this game is that usually one raw material place you know like a farm or a clay pit makes enough raw material for two of its counterpart uh, production facilities like kilns I could for example I have four clay pr production facilities but I could uh, make four kilns as well uh, at this point at this point I need to f not forget my freaking gods as they get angry Another good idea is to have yet another warehouse, or actually two warehouses, just for insurance, near your second, uh, near your second uh, housing block. I'll fill each one of them with ceramics and hemp, just as I've done the last time. Seems like I'm, I'm already selling some. No, I haven't sell, sold any silk yet, but I will be getting there anyway. Uh, That is not good. Okay, let me just... I usually get the special gifts. I might just, just as well do it this time as well. Bean card. Oh. Oh joy. Okay, that's going to be a problem. But why are they attacking me? I haven't even... Normally they shouldn't attack you. Because I haven't even made contact with them. But obviously that happens um, what you do in this in this situation is you just stockpile as much money as you can and make sure that you know you're doing fine uh, with with the money so that you can you can bribe them off that's that's the only thing that you can do in this situation let me see is the money printer making any money yes it is making some I think 1200 per year uh, money printed is, is the most which is, you know, good enough, considering the fact that we are also starting to import, to export silk. At this point, you can pretty much see that. Uh, wait, is it okay? That's okay. At this point, you can pretty much see that we have a problem, in that ceramics and hemp are, are kind of withering down in supply. Uh, can I actually fit a hemp farm over here? I actually can. And uh, I actually will think about it, or no, I won't. No, I won't. Nah, I'll just leave this for in other industries. But I think that I can put a couple of extra hemp farms over here. Usually, you can rotate the map around so that you can have access to a, a wider space than you have when you look at it from the other uh, angles. We just need to make sure that we have a road connecting to these right here and obviously the hemp farms okay this would be the first one it's going to be down there yeah I know it and this would have to be the second one just put it right there and hmm. I'm actually playing this game in uh, window mode, so that is the reason why I keep having these problems. These two extra f uh, hemp farms will make sure that I have enough hemp in income to satisfy both the, the, the paper makers and the population, obviously. Now, what you want to be doing, especially since you, you have unemployment, is start making more kilns because, uh, as I've said, these kilns aren't... Okay, they're invading and right next to me, so I'll just have to bribe them off this time. Sorry. Uh, but we will be ready the next time that they come, so then just have to make another four kilns right here. Uh, this should double my production and make sure that I have enough for 
everybody uh, also when I get the second when I'll get the second one the second uh, housing block okay gods are proving to be quite annoying zero people incoming I need always the Buddhist and tea of course can I make tea yes I can make tea which is quite good I think about Two or four tea farms should be enough to cover like 5,000 population, if not even more, 6,000, something like that. Good. Uh, at this point, I can actually start expanding and I should actually start looking because. Um, hmm. I think I'll be close to uh, half an hour in game gaming right now. Actually, forgot to look at uh, to look at the time when I started playing. That was a bit of a fail on my part. Uh, another mill would be advised, considering the fact that food is just piling up and don't have anything to do. You can't do anything with it. Uh, make sure that you consider all the best possibilities to position your your buildings when you build them. Of course. As this space right here would be perfect for industry, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to. Okay, obviously, so, so I was obviously have enough, a lot of food. I can just spend it to to, to the gods each month. Oh, okay, so I'll have to move this road right here to make it a, just a wee bit more efficient um, okay so music schools one two and of course an inspector card. and of course employees needed okay so at this point I can I have a lot of a lot of food as you can see I have a lot of resources like ceramics and, and hemp. Gods keep being unhappy, which is quite bothering. But at this point, I can already start making the second housing block. This one will be a bit bigger as normal. You can set up the shops already in it to make sure that once the people get here, they will have everything they need to, in order for them to evolve, of course. Don't forget about uh, important buildings. Uh, okay, this road right here is extra. Of course, the tax office is also right, very important. What the hell? Okay, obviously you need to make sure that safety is the highest priority ever. And obviously you need to make sure that this never ever happens because it can be quite damaging on your economy. But obviously it did happen. Um, cash car and two weavers. Good. I think I have everything that I need over here, except of course for one of the uh, temples that I will be placing there. Well then, here we go. And now we can proceed with building values. Which aren't all that necessary, but you know, it's it's good to have, you know, something work out the way it should. Also make sure that every time you build this housing block, the um, exit from the marketplace is facing actually the exit the, the is facing the same side as the exit from the whole housing block. This will greatly help you uh, 
in the game. Okay, now we just wait for the new population to come in. And as you can see, in just two easy steps, I think it's one hour uh, in total of playing. Let me just check that quickly. Yeah, okay, I'm still recording. Um, in just one hour of playing, uh, I've managed to create quite a bustling city with uh, silk exports that help my economy. Um, I'm not even going for the last houses because of the fact that I still have problems with my unhappy gods and I just need to make them happy. Finally, someone that's pleased. Um, spending a lot of ceramics in them would help, obviously. And right now I have to uh, figure out what I'm going to do with these 1200 people that are coming in extra. Actually, 30. it's going to be like 1600, I guess. If not more. Um, the obvious and, and best answer is to expand your silk making economy, silk making production uh, to at least double what you have right now. Because silk is great for, you know, uh, giving, you know, other people, but as you can see, it makes gods very pleased as well. Um, okay, good. So I'm going to finish right now. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and listening this uh, second video. Uh, I hope it, it has been a bit better than the, the last one, than the first one that I've made, uh, since I was a bit rusty back then. And um, you know, leave any comments or ideas that you have in the co in the in the comments below, obviously. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.